Hello, everyone. I wanted to give a uh, overview of Mo Moodle for those of you who have not used it before. And even if you have, we've changed Moodle servers, so things are a little different. Here is the main page of the course. Uh, you'll see this section stay roughly the same, though we'll change photos and messages up here. Um, this, as you're starting, there's a video here, my welcome. To have a question forum where you can post questions and I or someone else in the class will answer them. A news forum where I will post announcements that will be blast emailed to everyone. Uh, that might be alerting you to a problem or giving you a cool link or something neat to listen to on your next ride into work. A link to the Common Core standards, um, a download link, and of course our syllabus. If I make any changes to the syllabus, I will re-update it here and you'll see version 2, something like that. You'll see our uh, weekly topics, and this is the first module, um, which begins on a Tuesday uh, this week and ends on a Tuesday. Most will open on Wednesday, and they will close on a Tuesday night. Nothing will actually close. You'll always be able to get to everything in the course um, but that is sort of the guidelines for modules. They will generally open on Wednesdays, and they will, uh, you should be done with them um, Tuesday night sometime. If you look around a little more, I want to point out this section here. This, uh, you could call this the breadcrumb trail. And as you open more and more things in Moodle, so let's open, have a question, you'll see that it pops up here. So you might have several more things open, and let's see if this, okay, that didn't do anything. Um, and so if you want to get back to where you're going, just simply clicking that section takes you wherever you want to go. And I've unfortunately take, taken us right out of the course, so we'll jump back in. One thing I want to point out with all these forums is that if you are writing in a forum, you'll see several things are required. And you may wind up writing for a very long time. Um, you know, you may write a rather important paragraph that you'd like to put in here. And were you to hit the back arrow of your computer, um, not every single program will give you this warning thing, but were you to leave, then you would see whatever you've written is lost. So what I find very helpful is uh, when you are writing in a forum, um, post some text and uh, highlight it, hit control C so that you copy it um, in your pasteboard and keep on going. You'll notice um, that there is a link for participants here and it'll show your name as well as other people in the course. And this is a great way to get to know people. Um, it also gives me as the instructor a bit of an idea of who's in the course and how long they've been on there. One thing I'd like you to do before you uh, get too far into things is to click your own name and update your profile. Now you may not have any profile at all or you may have quite a bit. Unfortunately this profile is written for my last course which is on online teaching so I will update this shortly. Do make sure your email address is accurate and something that you actually check because if I do send a message through our news forum that's where it'll go. I would encourage you as well to look at the uh, profiles of other folks. It's still early in the course. There's Lori, um, and so not everything may be updated, but I see Lori's right on top of it. Uh, and so get to know people. You'll get a sense, and there's Bailey, and we're going to look for a little bit of information about her. Um, so get to know people. Get a sense of who's in the course and where they're from and what they're all about. That's really helpful. Um, you, you will see this grades link and I am still looking at if it's worthwhile using that um, or communicating directly. Um, you'll have grades for all the major projects as well as grades for your participation in whatever we're doing each week whether it's a discussion forum, blog posts, or anything like that. So we will keep a kind of a running idea of uh, grades. You should have a very accurate idea all through the course of how you've been doing. And um, please, please feel free to communicate with me. 
Um, there will be also a messaging board up so that you can see messages. But one key thing is that if you are looking for a message, you can check your own name. Um, they will pop up there. We currently don't have a messaging tag up. I meant to put that up. So I'll get that up, and when you come into the course, you'll look at that box and see if you have messages. Finding that shouldn't be any problem at all. Um, you'll see the blog menu, and I do give a tutorial in using blogs. The one important thing I want to stress is that when you are writing in a blog, you click Add an Entry About This Course. That way, all of us in the class can see blog entries from everyone in here. Again, um, needs a title, it needs content, and please um, be wary of the back arrow. You don't want to hit that if you've been writing here. Um, I think that there's not a whole lot else to tell you about. If by any chance you go to look at a forum, and let's say it's a discussion forum, and you do not see all these icons here, it means your browser may not support Moodle. I am currently looking at Firefox. Um, if you use Chrome, give it a try, but if you don't see these things, then use Firefox or try Safari or Internet Explorer. Uh, I think that's about it. Please let me know if you have any issues in the course, if uh, something's not working, um, something's not making sense, or you know, you're kind of curious where things are going if something's unclear. I am available by email by the Have a Question forum, uh, which is really not for personal information. And I am always available by cell phone. While I do teach um, a standard classroom day schedule, uh, I do glance at my phone at lunchtime and right after school. So if I miss your call, I'm probably with my own kids, and uh, I will chat with you as soon as I can. I'm also available any weeknight until um, really 9.30 or so. So don't be shy about calling. I, I really welcome the conversation. Um, I think that's about it. I hope this helps, and again, please let me know whatever I can do. Thanks.